Of all the horror genres out there, cosmic horror is perhaps the most unique. Whereas most horrors conjure a fear of some terrifying but comprehensible and oftentimes defeatable villain, cosmic horror stirs up an altogether different emotion. Insignificance. The realization that your existence is meaningless in the face of some unknowable entity that doesn't necessarily bear malicious intent or even possess a consciousness, but through the simple act of existing, invalidates your understanding of your place in the universe. Perhaps it's strange that I feel this way, but I find the existential dread that a well-done cosmic horror is able to create to be almost comforting. After all, menial things like work, school, love and taxes probably don't mean as much in a reality where eldritch beings that can end humanity on a whim exist. Basically, I'm saying I wish Cthulhu was real so I can feel less trashy about telling work I have tuberculosis when actually I just stayed up too late the night before eating Hot Pockets. Anyway, as someone who enjoys both cosmic horror as well as anime and manga, it's always a treat when the two genres cross paths. Evangelion perfectly captured that feeling of dread when facing the unknowable. Devilman Crybaby plays out a reality where humanity is at the whim of an uncaring, omnipotent entity. And Gruen Lagen, well, Gruen Lagen showed that even if you are facing an eldritch terror, if you scream loud enough, anything is possible. One series that I feel has gone unnoticed for its take on cosmic horror though, is One Punch Man. Now, before I try to convince you why a show about a baldy who one-shots bad guys as a hobby has more in common than you might think with the likes of the Cthulhu mythos, we need to establish what cosmic horror actually is. In the summer of 1926, Howard Phillips Lovecraft pens a short story titled The Call of Cthulhu, though this goes largely unnoticed in his lifetime. It eventually serves as a gateway for the world to discover Lovecraft's prolific body of work, and ultimately forms the genre known today as cosmic horror. Lovecraft's writing centers around the belief that humanity is fundamentally at the mercy of the cosmos, and so, a key aspect of his work is exploring the existential terror that overcomes a person upon realizing that they share the universe with immeasurably powerful entities like Cthulhu. This idea of humanity's meaningless insignificance within the infinite of the cosmos is what I believe to be the defining characteristic of cosmic horror, and surprisingly, it's a theme that I think is central to One Punch Man. While the monsters of One Punch Man can be pretty powerful, most of them lack the mystery and indifference towards humanity that is necessary for cosmic horror. The one exception to this would be the being known as God, which has only been revealed to readers in brief glimpses. All we really know about God is that it bears a swirling, humanoid form and is immensely powerful, providing the source of power for some of the strongest monsters that the heroes have faced so far. Within the Cthulhu mythos, there is an entity known as Nialethetep, who seeks to achieve its own incomprehensible agenda through the manipulation of humans. Likewise, the goals of God are also unclear and it too manipulates humans to do its bidding, often reaching out to those it believes worthy and offering them vast amounts of power. Although God shares many similarities with the entities of Lovecraft's universe, its existence is only introduced much later in the One Punch Man series. Cosmic horror though, has been a theme of the series since the very beginning. In the form of everyone's favourite Baldi. Despite being human, Saitama's power dwarfs that of anything else in the series, and those who come to understand this are forced to reconcile with the fact that no matter how strong they become, there exists a being out there who will always be infinitely more powerful. Reactions to Saitama's overwhelming strength vary depending on who he interacts with, ranging from awe and admiration to denial, to the full-blown existential dread that is typical of the cosmic horrors. Perhaps the character that grapples the most with the absurdity of Saitama's power though, is the caped Baldi himself, 
Saitama began his hero's journey as an ordinary human, and he found meaning in his pursuit of strength through defeating challenging foes. Yet after he surpasses his limiter and becomes the invincible being we know him to be, he grows placid and somewhat depressed. In the same way that protagonists in other cosmic horrors experience existential terror when they realize they are powerless compared to what's out there in the cosmos, Saitama becomes haunted by the reality that there is nothing out there more powerful than him. Fortunately, his life isn't totally devoid of meaning, as he finds purpose in some of his less significant pursuits, like trying to be king at video games, or cashing in on clearance sales. Without these lesser goals to occupy him, it's likely that Saitama's life would have slid into a state of total emotionless apathy. While watching Saitama turbo fist ever crazier and more monstrous villains is definitely a big reason why I enjoy One Punch Man so much, I'm just as much drawn to the series for its more subtle exploration of how our hero deals with his existence as the strongest in the universe. Cosmic Horror poses a simple question. What do you do when you realize your existence is meaningless? Us monkeys find purpose in our struggle towards difficult but ultimately attainable goals. When we learn that no matter what heights we reach, we are but insects in the eyes of some incomprehensibly powerful entity. Whatever it is we were working towards suddenly seems pointless. One Punch Man reverses this idea. What happens if our existence is meaningless, not because of what horrors might be out there, but because we are the infinitely powerful?